what it do my booze i'm back at it again with another video in today's video i will be doing a car tour i'm gonna be showing you guys my 2014 honda civic si if you haven't already please make sure you subscribe to my channel down below let me know if you guys like this video but anyways without further ado let's get into it All right, you guys, so uh, let's go ahead and get into this car tour. All right, so, so we're gonna go ahead and start with the inside of the car. Here is just the dashboard. There, as you can see, is where the miles per hour is. It shows you how fast you're going. Uh, VTEC is just a little feature that this car has, which helps put out more power and higher RPMs. So that's why that's there. And then this is the gas right there which i need to put some gas i mean i still got a pretty good amount but this right here it's a little monitor it just pretty much tells me is the radio station that i'm on it's how many miles approximately uh that i have left till i have no more gas <laughs> or until i need to go uh to the gas station this is a power monitor so every time i uh hit the gas or rev or anything just like that that little power monitor thing goes up to kind of reflect on you know the power right now that my car is putting out and then that's just the blank one and back to the little thing so right here rpms and anything i'm gonna turn my car off and then turn it back on so that you guys can see what, it, what i'm talking about oh and it is a push to start so it's pretty easy i just push this button here and you see all those symbols that came up so yeah so this is where all the symbols would come up now mine, thankfully it doesn't have anything other than the brake because I have the handbrake on and then my seatbelt because I'm parked right now so I'm not wearing a seatbelt. And then over here we have the traction control and you know my side of the uh, air vent. So the traction control, if I push down on that, it'll turn on this little symbol right there which basically means just the traction control off. But there's a few buttons on the steering wheel and then there's also these two little i don't know what to call it it's really <laughs> but this one's for the lights also if i put it down the left turn signal will turn on if i put it up the right turn signal turns on <laughs> you know how that goes so so there's that and then oh so with this i did want to show you guys this little monitor right here or you know my touch screen so i love this part like of the car it's one of my favorite things so i'm going to turn the turn signal on if i push this button right here i can also achieve that so look at that like it tells me the objects or anything that's close to me like on the right side because usually you know it's a blind spot so that's so freaking cool you guys like you don't understand i love this feature and the next car i have hopefully has it too if i ever do get a new car i will make sure it has this feature because this has been so so helpful and as you can see like that little bulge right there on the mirror at the bottom that's where the camera's at so that's pretty much just showing me everything that's on the right side so and then this right here is just for the windshield wipers so if i turn them on the windshield wipers go off which i need to get any windshield wipers so <laughs> you guys recommend any brands that are good because every the ones that i always get from walmart don't last that long so if you know any good ones please recommend them in the comments below so i can check them out because i really want to make sure that i get some good ones and that last long windshield wipers if i push it towards me it'll mist it so it can clean my windshield and and then these right here is just like the 
I guess the speed you want it to go. All right, so moving on to the steering wheel. This button right here controls that menu that I showed you guys earlier. Then, um, so I'm gonna go from left to right. So this right here is source. So it just changes, like if you want it to be on FM, AM, Bluetooth, etc. cetera, it changes the source of the radio. And then this is for to turn up the volume. This is to turn down the volume, as you can see right there. I have mine all the way down. And then these right here, are just to pretty much change, change the state station just a little quicker. Uh, right here is the cruise control button. So, oh, forgot to turn this off. Uh, right here is the uh, cruise control button. You can press this button, or um, first you can speed up to the miles per hour that. You're limited to and then after that you press the cruise control button that little symbol will turn on um, telling you that the cruise main is on you can set it to the miles per hour by pressing this want to reset it i'll just click this button right here or if i want to cancel i'll click this button right here these buttons right here this is to answer phone calls uh so if i have my phone connected to bluetooth and somebody calls me i can press this button and just answer it that way this uh, will hang up the call or go back into the menu. It's right here. It's sort of like Siri. If you have an iPhone and you know you say, hey Siri, this is kind of like that. Only I have to push a button because it's <laughs> I can't say, hey Honda, nothing like that. Um, it just, yeah, I just push this button and then the menu pops up, which I'm gonna show y'all in a minute once I get to this section of the car. There's that for the steering wheel. And that so that's the overview now moving on to this section right here actually i'm gonna show you guys this first so this right here is just the lights simple i'm pretty sure almost all cars have that right here is the button to like if i have the doors open to kind of select if i want the lights to come on with you know the doors as they open or if i want the lights not to turn off now this is for for my sunroof up here so I'm gonna go ahead and open that it's pretty bright um if i push it if i uh push it all the way this way it'll open it all the way up so all the way it's such a beautiful day outside too barely any clouds like you can see those little ones right there but there's barely any clouds in the skies i love this type of weather but anyway so that's open right there <clears throat> now if i were to close it and then just like push on the button like that it'll only leave like a little crack so some air gets through but it's not completely open I'm gonna go ahead and close uh so that's that and then here's your sun visors with the little mirror now back to this so first of all i am gonna show you guys first this since i you know went from here to here so with this if i press this button right here that I pops up say phone call music search voice help address place name or more destination methods. <laughs> so there's that. So pretty much I just press this button right here. She will come on the speakers and pretty much just tell me what I want. So I can either say a phone call. Pardon? No command was heard. Press the talk button and say <laughs> She'd be in a little room right to now. Turn to the pretty screen. Press the back button. Anyway, so because I don't want to keep hearing her going back and forth, I'm just going to press this and then it goes back. So that's pretty much just that. Like if I want to make a call, look at my phone, contacts, uh, et cetera. I am going to press home so I can start from home. This is just the options that I have on my little touch screen. There's not many, but it's still a good amount. I don't really need that much. First, I'm going to show you guys the navigation. This car does come with the GPS. I don't ever use it. I think I've only used it like once ever since I've had the car. And that's because I forgot my phone at home. I know, who forgets their phone? But <laughs> And uh, this is the phone. So if I connect my phone to it, it pretty much just brings up my call history, speed dial, anything of that sort, information. This tells a little information about the car and I can also choose the clock wallpaper that I currently have on there and then um, somebody just passed by 
I know they looked at me like I'm crazy, but anyway. <laughs> so that's just information of the car. Audio, this is the one that I use the most. What kind of audio I want, whether I want FM, which is regular radio. Now, if you're in Tennessee, 101 The Beat Jam is where it's at. <laughs> that, and then if I go back to audio and I click AM, it'll switch to AM. Never use that anyway. XM, don't know what that is. Don't even use it. Um, this little circle symbol right there, that's for the CD. So right here, there is a CD slot to put in a CD. Power on and off button. I probably should have started with that. <laughs> but the power on and off button for this screen to eject the CD or to change the brightness, that little symbol right there. So, and then this right here is just for the USB that I'm about to show y'all to connect the iPod. Pandora, so I am able to connect it to Pandora in this car. I used to do this all, to, all the time, but I noticed that it really was just quicker and easier just to plug it up to Bluetooth. It was pretty much the same thing. So I don't even use the Pandora one anymore. <laughs> and then, aha, uh -huh, it's like another thing of XM. I don't even use it. This is just, I think it has to do with, yeah. So uh, if I download any apps, so as you've seen on there, you also seen Pandora, I can download other apps, uh, music apps to use. Right here is the Bluetooth, which is the one that I usually do this is an hdmi so fun fact about this car is that all right i'm sorry you guys so while i was trying to talk about hdmi my phone overheated which is weird because it's 77 like yeah 77 degrees like it feels so good outside but if you're in a car oh my gosh i guess it's too hot so it's a little technical difficulties there but we're back so hdmi much i can actually watch a movie in this car so if i click on hdmi and i have a cord connected down here which i'm about to show y'all i can really watch a movie or anything even a youtube video just netflix whatever i wanted if it's connected to the hdmi and so settings it's just as it sounds so navigation info camera uh the system itself the phone audio bluetooth so settings for that And then, um, oh wait, there is one thing I wanted to show you guys. I think, is it this one? Yes, yeah. So I can actually change the the uh, background color on this monitor and this one. So I, usually, I just keep it in red because the car itself has like a red theme. So I keep it in red, but I am able to change it to blue, amber, red, violet. Uh, so let's go ahead and do blue just for the heck of it just kind of show you guys so this is so cool how cool is that you guys i could just like you know change the colors around but this is the settings for the home screen yeah so i can edit like where i want these at so if i wanted music at the top music which i probably should keep the music at top i'm always using it so <laughs> music at the top phone navigation on stuff i'm actually gonna keep that format to be honest so have that and then I could change background settings or the brightness contracts black level I want to show you guys the wallpapers I'm trying to see the wallpapers I know I can change the wallpapers on this I'm just trying to remember where and you can see me right there. wow you guys so it was it was still here so I just had to click info and then clock wallpaper type so yes, yeah, so I can change the wallpaper on here as well with the clock format. I can either do analog, it looks like that, kind of like how this looks on the little screen right there, or I can have it digital or small digital. So I'm gonna keep it analog just to kind of match that little screen over there, feeling like a little change here. So I can change that to go back change the wallpaper so i have different wallpapers i have i can either do blank where it's just obviously blank <laughs> so it just looks like that and has the little clock or i can do galaxy which is one of my favorites i want to keep it on this so I'm, after i show you the rest of them i'm gonna keep it on that so set metallic 
which is just with the theme of the car, like that red, blackish wallpaper. Or I can also make it look like different time zones of the world. It'll have, um, let's pre preview it so you guys can see. So yeah, so it'll have the different time zones. There's that. And then I wanna go back to the galaxy. So we're gonna set the galaxy back on it's so pretty <laughs> all right so i can also add new wallpapers so if i connect my phone to this download wall new wallpapers i can uh put new on there so add new and then i could uh, download file through the usb to download new wallpapers i haven't really played with that but that would be cool um, if i have time one day to kind of do that all right so right here is the emergency lights so if you turn this on your emergency light turns on for any emergency you might have on the road this is the ac which is as you can hear pretty pretty strong it's also like starting to get hot so i see why my phone overheated <laughs> so the ac i can have an ac or max which i always have if i have my ac on it's always on max i i cannot like i have to have it on max this is for just you know for it to blow on my face this is for uh, the setting for it to blow up my face and feet, only feet, defrost and feet, circulate the air in the car, or if I turn it off, it'll bring air from outside. I keep it on that. This is to defrost the front windshield. This is to defrost the rear windshield. And then this little knob right here is just to change the temperature. This right here is a little compartment. Keep my a little Bible there and some gum. So I got this Bible at the Dollar Tree. So it's a cute little Bible. I haven't opened it yet. I just keep it in here for my car and a random receipt for some reason. I don't even know why I have that in there. <laughs> I just keep that right there. The Bible and the gum. But right here is where the connections for this is. So the HDMI, a USB. There. And then this is the power outlet, cigarette lighter, whatever you want to call it. Actually, the type of charger I use, I usually use that. I don't even have that type anymore because, you know, iPhone. Thank you, iPhone. Decided to change it up. So uh, an iPhone 11, you'll realize that the little connection that goes into the charging box is no longer a USB type. It's like a C type of connection. So, uh, I'm going to move on. right on this side. This is my little compartment there so nothing really interesting in there this is a manual car so you have to shift the gears manually which as you can see right here see there's three three pedals so this is the clutch over here the clutch the brake and the gas so once i push this down i'll be able to move this right here so this has six gears so this is a six speed and then uh this right here is for reverse so it's a wide angle camera i can do like more of a narrow and then this is just to look directly under the camera that's back there i just keep it on that because i want to see everything in my surrounding i don't want to hit nobody or anything so that's for the reverse it's so much fun if you guys don't have a manual i would consider at least one time in your life to learn how to drive manual because it's it's fun all right so and then this is the emergency brake so i always keep that up so to make sure that my car doesn't roll anywhere it's the cup holders everybody pretty much has those in the car there's the middle console right here so i keep a few things in there it's kind of <laughs> looks messy right now but i'm gonna organize it later um so I have this little handkerchief thing that just kind of cleans off my um, little screen if I, you know, if it gets dusty. My charger, which I love. I've had this charger for so long. Like, I think it's been like two, three years since I've had this charger. Like, no joke. It it lasted me. It still works. And it's it looks pretty good. Like, it doesn't even look like it's tore up or nothing you do you can you you want you want oh so it's lasted me two two years which is pretty dope and then it has like a little extra thing and you know have that and then an extra usb i don't think it works to be honest with you 
but it's there. <laughs> Pretty much what I have in the front. I will show you a few other things. I do have. Oh yeah, so yeah, I do have this right here. So this is for the mirrors. If I push this right here to the left and move this um, analog, it moves the mirror around. The right, same thing. It just moves it to the right, and then lock and unlock button. This right here, if I push that, it'll lock the window. So this window won't be able to go down. Only mine. So. I just keep that off. And then this just put down the window. So pretty simple right there. And that just has an extra compartment there where I just keep hand sanitizer, spray, all that. I had a wrapper in there for my gum. <laughs> so that's the front. I am going to show you, like I said, some other stuff that you guys can't see, like, from me being in here. So I'll go ahead and get out. Here, I showed you guys briefly before, but it has three pedals. So clutch, the brake, and the gas. Right here is to open the hood of the car. Then if I push down on this, it'll open the little gas gauge right there. If I pull on it, it'll open the trunk. So here with the seat, this, this helps the seat move back or forward this way. And then this moves this is like the backing of the seat either forward or if i push it all the way back backwards oh moving on to the back of the car i have this sun thing to protect my dashboard all right so this is the back seat and you know i love the red and the black all together i didn't even get these shampooed because my siblings sometimes are back here and yeah they make a mess but there's my speakers i love my speakers they're really nice and just has the cup holders this little pouch right here this one doesn't come with one i don't know why but i mean it's whatever i don't really need it the other cup holder this is what it looks like from the back so it looks pretty nice it's actually like a decent size and everything you can even see my mask right there but yeah so that's an overall of what the front looks like and then here's the back pretty much it for the inside of my car okay guys so that pretty much concludes my car tour so hopefully you guys enjoyed um this video and everything i showed you guys about my car if you haven't already please subscribe to my channel and like, comment, and subscribe. Pretty much it. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.